This is a pigeon that comes in with right upper quadrant painting. It's an ultrasound for further evaluation. So we'll have a look at the ultrasound first, and we can look at uh, different parameters and different organs here. But what I really wanted to point out is an abnormality associated with the right kidney. Now, the right kidney itself looks okay, but surrounding the right kidney, you can start to see over here there is an abundance of uh, echogenic soft tissue surrounding it that really does look like fat that's hypertrophied in that location. And the more we look at it, we can start to see there's a lot of fat that's surrounding the right upper quadrant, and in particular, surrounding that right kidney. It's a transverse image. Look at all this fat that's posterior to the right kidney and pushing it anteriorly. We can see more of it on this image. There's not much vascularity within that fat. And so really a large amount of fat uh, surrounding that right kidney over there. And so we do a CAT scan to further evaluate this, and indeed that's what we find. We can see the right kidney over there, and we can see it's displaced anteriorly through all this fat that's sort of centered in the right perinephric space. And most of it, this is fat, but there's also heterogeneous septations and some uh, soft tissue associated with it, a soft tissue nodule, as you can see over here, and that's really displacing the right kidney anteriorly, and going all the way down to the pelvis and displaying some of the bowel loops over there. And so whenever you see this sort of fat-containing mass with some soft tissue elements in the retroperitoneum, have to think about a liposarcoma. Liposarcoma is the most common primary retroperitoneal neoplasm that you'll end up seeing. Often will not respond to uh, radiation or chemotherapy, uh, would require some degree of resection, but uh, outcomes are generally poor with uh, recurrent disease uh, often occurring in this setting.